Chapter 31 The passing away in Baba's presence of Sanyasi Vijayanand Balram Mankar Nulkar Megha the tiger In this chapter Hemadban describes the passing away of certain devotees and a tiger in Baba's presence Preliminary The last wish or thought that a man has at the hour of death determines his future course Shri Krishna has said in Gita 856 that he who remembers me in his last moments comes verily to me and he who meditates otherwise at that time goes to what he longs for we cannot be certain that we can entertain a particular good thought at a last moment for more often than not we are more likely to be frightened and terrified by death hence constant practice is necessary for enabling us to fix our mind on any desired good thoughts at any moment all saints therefore recommend us to remember god and chant his name always so that we may not be perplexed or perturbed when the time of departure comes the devotees on their part surrender themselves completely to the saints fully believing that the saints would guide and help them in their last moments a few such cases will be noted here vijayanand A sanyasi from Chennai named Vijayanand started on pilgrimage from Mansarovar and route on hearing Baba's fame he halted at Chiri there he met one Soma Dev ji Swami of Hardwar and inquired from him about the Mansarovar trip the swami told him that the sarovar was 500 miles above Gangotri and described to him the difficulties of the journey that is plenty of snow and the change of dialect every 50 course and the suspicious nature of the local people who gave a lot of trouble to the pilgrims on the way on hearing this the sanyasi was dejected and cancelled the trip then when he went to baba and prostrated himself before him baba got enraged and said drive out this useless sanyasi his company is of no use the sanyasi did not know baba's nature He felt discomforted but sat there watching things that were going on. It was the morning darbar and the masjid was overcrowded. Baba was being worshiped in various ways. Some were washing his feet, some taking the tirth that's the holy water and drinking it heartily and some were touching their eyes with it. Some were applying sandal paste and some scents to his body. And all were doing these things forgetting the distinction of caste and creed. Though Baba got enraged with him, he was filled with affection for Baba, and he did not feel like leaving the place. He stayed in Shirdi for two days. When he got a letter from Chennai stating that his mother was very ill, he felt very dejected and wanted to be by his mother's side, but he could not leave without Baba's permission to return home. The omniscient Baba, knowing the future, said to him, "If you so loved your mother." Why did you take sanyas? Attachment makes misuse of an outer garb. Go and sit quietly at your lodging. Wait with patience for a few days. In the vada there were many robbers. Pull to your doors and be very vigilant. The thieves will carry everything. Wealth and prosperity are transient and the body is subject to decay and death. While knowing this do your duty leaving all attachments with the things of this world and next he who does this and surrenders himself completely to the feet of the hari will get free from all troubles and attain bliss the lord runs and helps him who remembers and meditates on him with love and affection your store of merits is considerable so you have come here now attend to what i say and realize the goal of your life begin from tomorrow the study of bhagavat 
दो थ्री सप्ताह थर्ट इज थ्री रीडिंग ड्यूरिंग थ्री वीक्स कॉन्सियंशियसली द लॉर्ड विल बी प्लीज विथ यू एंड विल डिस्ट्रॉय योर सोरोस योर इल्यूशन विल वैनिश एंड यू विल गेट इटर्नल प्लीज On seeing that his end was approaching, Baba prescribed this remedy and made him read Rama Vijaya, which pleases the God of Death. Next morning, after bathing and other purifying rites, he commenced to read Bhagavat at a secluded spot in the Lady Garden. He completed two readings and thereafter felt much exhausted. He returned to the Vada and stayed in his lodging for two days. On the third day, he breathed his last. on fakir bade baba's lap baba asked the people to preserve the body for a day for a reason the police afterwards came and on making proper inquiries gave permission for the disposal of the body he was buried in a proper place with due rites in this way baba helped the sanyasi and ensured him sadgati that is salvation balram mankar There was a householder devotee of Baba by the name Balram Mankar. When his wife passed away, he got dejected, and entrusting his household to his son, he left home and came to Shirdi and lived with Baba. Being pleased with his devotion, Baba wanted to give a good turn to his life, and he did it in this way. He gave him rupees twelve and asked him to go and live in Machindragar, district Satara. Mankar was first unwilling to go and stay away from Baba but Baba convinced him that he was giving the best course for him and asked him to practice meditation thrice a day in the gad that's the fort on believing in Baba's words Mankar went to the gad he was much pleased with the serenity pure water healthy air and the surrounding of the place and began to practice adiciously the meditations as recommended by baba after some days he got a revelation generally bhags get revelation in their samadhi or trance states but in mankar's case he got it when he came down to his ordinary consciousness from his trance baba appeared to him in person not only that mankar saw him but he also asked him why he was sent there baba replied In Shirdi many thoughts and ideas began to rise in your mind and I send you here to bring your unsteady mind to rest You thought that I was in Shirdi with a body composed of the five elements and 3 and 1/2 cubits in length Now you see and determine for yourself whether the person you see here now is the same you saw in Shirdi It is for this reason that I sent you here Then after the period was over Mankar left the gad and proceeded to his native place Bandra He wanted to travel by rail from Pune to Dadar but when he went to the booking office to get a ticket he found it was very much crowded he could not get his ticket soon when a villager with a langoti that is a piece of cloth on his waist and a kambali on his shoulder turned up and said where are you going to Dadar replied Mankar Then he said, "Please take this dadar ticket of mine, as I have some urgent work here. I have cancelled my dadar trip." Mankar was very glad to receive the ticket and was taking out money from his pocket when the rustic disappeared in the crowd. Mankar tried to find out in the crowd, but but in vain. He waited for him till the train left the station, but found no trace of him. This was the second revelation Mankar got in a strange form. Then Mankar after visiting his home again returned to Shirdi and remained there at Baba's feet following his bidding and advice in the end he was very fortunate to leave this world in the presence of Baba Tatya Sahib Nulkar Hemad Pant gives no particulars regarding Tatya Sahib Nulkar except that the bare mention of the fact that he gave up his ghost in shirdi a brief summary of his account that appeared in the sai leela magazine is given here tata sahib was a sub judge at pandharpur in 1909 when nana sahib sandulkar was mamlatdar there 
both met often and exchanged words tata sahib did not believe in saints while nana sahib respected them nana sahib often told him the leelas of sai baba and pressed him to go to shirdi and see baba nulkar finally agreed to go to shirdi with two conditions first he must get a brahmin cook and second he must get good nagpur oranges for the presentation both these conditions were providentially fulfilled a brahmin came to nana sahib for service and he was sent to tata sahib and a fruit parcel containing 100 beautiful oranges was received by tata sahib the consigner being unknown as the conditions were fulfilled tata sahib had to go to shirdi at first baba was much enraged with him but by and by tata sahib got such experiences that he was convinced that baba was god incarnate so he was enamored by baba and stayed there till his death as his end was approaching sacred literature was read out to him and at the last hour baba's padatirtha was brought and given to him for drinking baba on hearing of his death said o tatya went ahead of us he won't be reborn megha the story of megha has already been described in chapter 28 when megha died all the villagers followed the funeral procession Baba also accompanied them and showered flowers on Megha's body. After the obsequies were performed, tears flowed down from Baba's eyes. Like an ordinary mortal, Baba showed himself overcome with grief and sorrow. Then covering the body with flowers and crying like a near relation, Baba returned to the masjid. Many saints have been seen giving sadgati to men, but Baba's greatness is unique. Even an animal like tiger came to Baba's feet for being delivered from demerits. It is this story which will be narrated now. Tiger. Seven days before Baba passed away, a wonderful incident occurred in Shirdi. There came a country cart and stopped in front of the masjid. A tiger who was on the cart fastened with iron chains with its agonized face turned to the rear it was suffering from some painful malady its keepers three darveshis had been taking it from place to place and making money by exhibiting it it was the means of their subsistence they tried all sorts of remedies to cure it from the malady it was suffering from but all in vain Then they heard of Baba's fame and came to him with the animal. They got it down with chains in their hands and made it stand at the door. It was naturally fierce besides being disease ridden. So it was restless. The people began to look at it with fright and amazement. The darveshis told Baba everything about the animal and with his consent brought it before Baba. As the tiger approached the steps it retreated on account of the awe of baba and hung its head down when both saw each other it got on the step and looked at baba with affection immediately it moved the turf of its tail and dashed it thrice against the ground and then fell down senseless on seeing it dead the darveshis were much dejected and full of sorrow but on proper thought they came to terms with it they considered that as the animal was deceased and nearing its end it was very meritorious on its part that it met its death at the feet of baba it was their debtor and when the debt was paid off it was free and met its end at sai's feet when any creatures bow down their heads at saint's feet and meet death they are liberated unless they have a good store of merits on their account how could they get such a meritorious end bow to shri sai peace to all om sai ram